Fatball Sicilian, FBS. I am very grateful for Fatball Sicilian. I'll tell you why. FBS created more channels than Comcast. Okay, FBS endorsed a lot of channels. He created a lot of channels, and I bet he can't count how many channels that he has helped to get monetized, and I'm one of them. You know, and then it's not like you have no violence on your record until you're 30, and then one night you just decide to go out and kill a cop. It doesn't happen like that. Fabrizio was always a tough kid. He was a tough kid. He had a nice punch. If he hit you, he would knock you the fuck out. I already had the position. I don't want to say boss, but that's what I was. I had the position. I was I was made directly with New York, and I didn't have to answer to nobody in my area. I didn't watch the show, so I didn't really understand the magnitude or like you know how big this moment was. But you know what? When De Niro asked him to let the old lady stay, yeah, you know, and she has to stay with the dog. Well, God, that's never started, huh? You know that scene? And he was like, "Stops." Anytime I got to shoot at John's restaurant on East 12th Street, which was like a big mob hangout where like Joe the Boss, Masseria would like hold court, and I got to work with Ivo Nandi who played Joe the Boss, uh, those were some of my favorite scenes. And the moment you walk in, I could recognize who's at the bar, who's at the table, at the eye. And this is the first time that I meet Sonny Franchese. Matter of fact, outside the Bada Bing, Satin Dolls, we put a curtain in the parking lot. Everyone was wondering, why is that big curtain in the parking lot? We were rehearsing the hanging scene. I'm living proof, guys. I'm living proof. I mean, no, I'm not, I'm not a millionaire or nothing, but listen, look at my life four years ago. I was in a fucking hotel. I was you know, selling crack. I was, I was snorting coke. I was drinking myself to fucking death. I was literally taking bags full of Ativan just because I wanted to die in my sleep. I was all alone, you know, and now I'm here. I have my family, I have a little bit of money in the bank, I got everything I want, and I got you guys in this channel. So, if I can do it, any of you can do it. Here's all. What's going on, everybody? We are going to have a great show today, a fantastic show. How do I know? I just know. It's been a long time since we've done something like this, uh, but it's necessary. It is absolutely necessary. Uh, the last words of that Kenny Rogers song I played, which is called The Gambler, he said, the best you could hope for is to die in your sleep. And Mr. Batters, I think that describes your situation perfectly right now. I do. That's probably the best you could hope for because uh, it's going to get ugly. <clears throat> you know, I'm the kind of person that I can let a lot of shit go with enough time. You know, I could, I could say, all right, whatever it's in the past. What's done is done. But Mr. Batters is not your ordinary scumbag. He is just as bad, if not worse than Tony fucking pizza. I know firsthand. Uh, I saw what he did to my family and others. When my mom got that horrible news, he made video after video, Mr. Batters, talking horrible about her, saying disgusting things, wishing death on her, just like his friend Tony Pizza. I believe he's talked about Muscle's family. He's talked about SoFlo's family. He picked the wrong three people to do that to. See, because eventually, no matter who you are or how long you stay anonymous, we will find you. I assure you. I guarantee it. When have I failed you? I was up till six in the fucking morning and I haven't been staying up that late. So I was pissed about that and I still am. I was going the wrong direction. You know, some of the stuff that was talked about last night. Not completely accurate, but still related, so to speak to the Mr. Batter's situation, his real identity, okay? I know a lot now, a lot. Now, that guy that everybody was talking about last night, he is not Mr. Batter's, but he is related to Mr. Batter's. I know that because I'm awesome. Uh, 
So we're going to talk a little bit about this fucking clown. And all I'm going to say is this. I guess I'll give you till the end of the day, Mr. Batters. Till the end of the day to come out and apologize to everyone that you've harmed with your vulgar language and your bullshit hatred. Come out and apologize to everyone and then agree to leave YouTube. Dis a fucking peer. I left a, uh, a community post early this morning. Like I'm talking about three or four in the morning. It said, Mr. Batters, disappear. I meant it. Uh, I owe you a lot. A lot of payback. A lot. And so do some other people. What I'm going to do to you, if you don't leave, is going to be horrible. But what SoFlo and Chicago Muscle will do to you is going to be a living nightmare. You're going to wish you were never born. You made it a long time, Mr. Batters. You did. You made it a long time without being found out. But with enough determination, it can happen. And I know you're wondering, how in the fuck did FPS figure this out? How? You're thinking to yourself, how was there pictures of me and video and audio of me on SoFlo's show earlier today? How is that possible? You're puzzled. You're shocked. I know. I know you are. You shouldn't be. Uh, it was bound to happen sooner or later. And like I said, you picked the wrong people. You want to troll people? There's a bunch of people on here you could troll, talk shit about, bash all day, every day. I am not the guy. And neither are Chicago Muscle or SoFlo. Eventually, you're going to have to pay for that. Holy shit. Is it going to be severe? My God. If it wasn't for the fact that you're such an incredible scumbag, I would actually say I feel bad for you right now. But I don't. Whatever happens to you, you have coming. No doubt about it. And it's not like anything in real life is going to happen to you. But we're here on YouTube. A lot of stuff could take place just with words. I know a lot of damage can be done. So all I can say is, you know you fucked up, right? <laughs> uh, let me do some shout outs. It's a beautiful thing, guys. It's a beautiful thing. I worked my fucking ass off all night. My God. And all I kept thinking is, man, remember when he said this and he said that about the women in my family? My God. I mean, numerous women in my family. Boy, is that going to come back to haunt you. Oh, my God. It's going to be a bloodbath. Miss Can't Be Wrong, Sally, Dave, Jason Mikesell, Busy, Lisa Marie. Uh, yes, just a quick update because I know I didn't talk about it much. I do that for a reason now, you know, but Monday, my mom went in for the surgery. All she had to do was get a new pacemaker. Now, what that means is they just got to cut her open. They already have the leads in there. They attached the new pacemaker. And uh, she's good to go. So she came home uh, right after the surgery. Well, she was in recovery for a little while. She's been home, but she's all bandaged up where she was cut. Uh, so she hasn't been able to, like, lift her arm or drive or do anything. Hasn't been able to shower. Today is the first day she uh, was able to shower. And uh, hope being hope. She's out living her life right now. <laughs> she went out a couple of hours ago, and she's having a good time, I'm sure. So thank you, everybody who was asking, and uh, thank you for everyone's concern, but she's good. That's a tough woman. Incredibly tough. Uh, Sunny Soprano, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, I saw what you said in the chat, and I just looked at your message. I am so sorry to hear that. I had no idea you were going through that. Um, I will respond to your Instagram message later, but obviously... Uh, uh, I wish you the best. I hope you are okay. And I hope, uh, you know, if you're still recovering, that you recover quickly. 
Uh, I didn't get, well, here we go. No worries. Hit me up. This is to Miss Camp. You're wrong. I know. Um, radiation appointment. Okay. So it, it sounds like you're still going through it. So I wish you the best. Uh, uh, you know, I'm not somebody who prays, but I'll send positive vibes your way and uh, you'll be in my thoughts. And I'm glad to see you here. And uh, you did worry me for a while. I thought you left us. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Urgent phone call. I don't like when that happens when I'm on a roll, but it is what it is. So let's get back into it. Uh, Stevie the Gypsy. I, I, I might be uh, repeating names now just because I started the shout outs like five minutes ago. Chicago Born. Uh, Joe Root. Lou Sasshole. I'm sorry, Lou Sasshole. Uh, hey, now. Jason B, D. Ganey, Jesse Roth, Joseph Montanero, uh, Guardino Inc., OC. Yes, 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 The Gambler, absolutely. Uh, I felt it was necessary to play that song, even though that is not my type of music. It was painful for me to play that in the beginning of the show, but I thought it was appropriate, you know? Edward Everett, Chicago Muscle, everybody's here to celebrate. Robert B. I don't know who I shouted out and who I didn't. That's enough shout outs. Let me get down to the beginning here or the end. I'm sorry. All right. So I could read comments and be caught up. Danny Green, $20. What's good, Familia? Match me. Let's go. Thank you, Danny Green. Hell of a way to start the show. As you guys know, Danny Green is one of the biggest sponsors of this show. So if you wouldn't mind donating, I'd appreciate it very much. Anyway, I uh, I was working my ass off last night, all fucking night, as I've said twice already on this show, and uh, I was following the same, you know, trail, I guess you could say, and, and then I realized, holy fuck, this isn't him, but I had a couple of tricks up my sleeve, and don't ask me how, but I was able to find him, and I will tell you this. What he's told you about himself, at least his last name, is bullshit. That's not his last name. Uh, people were saying Siasulo. Uh, that's not his last name. Now, like I said, you know, I'm going to give Mr. Batters a chance because I'm such a nice guy and I always do this. Before he's fully exposed, so to speak, as disgusting as that sounds, I'm going to give him a chance to apologize, delete his channel, and disappear. If he decides not to, then. I have no sympathy for you, and whatever happens, like I said, you had it coming. Don't don't uh, see it as backing down. Just see it as complete and total defeat. You've been defeated. And now, all that horrible shit you did to our families, it could come back to you and yours. Before you know it, all types of people are being exposed. People connected to you. Oh, my God. What a fucking nightmare. I know. Trust me. I know. I know how it feels. It's been done to me many times. 
But people like you think you can come on here and do that to people and do it and do it and and and, and spew all this hatred and this vile shit about people and the women in their lives and everything else, and it'll never come back to you. Well, time to pay the piper, bitch. That's all I can say. Now, I know that you know that I know who you are. I know that you know that I know your full identity, okay? So. Who knows how you're going to handle that? Maybe you don't give a fuck. Maybe you'll decide, you know what? Before I get dragged through the mud and destroyed for everything I did to people and I get my karma, before people in my family are abused because of what I did to other people's families, maybe I'll just shut it down. I mean, I don't don't make any money out of this, right, Mr. Batters? You don't make any money. That's what you should be saying to yourself. You're not on here for money. You're good. You're a big time uh, poker player. Big time. Mad money. I'm talking about sheesh. What? What that one tournament? What'd you have? About three hundred and seventy-five thousand in chips. My own. That's impressive. You must be very, very good at playing poker. You must. Uh, see, when you let out anything about yourself anything like for instance you like playing poker and then somebody thinks they might have come across your identity and they look up uh they do a background check and then they see an email address with the word poker in it that's a clue then you let people know where you've lived in the past where you live now things like that even if it's just the general area And you start putting old addresses together and you're like, yep, that fits. Yep, that fits. Then you could, of course, uh, do an age range. I figured you to be in your, you know, early to mid 50s. And you are, you're 54 years old. No doubt about that. Uh, I've confirmed everything. And there's a bunch of other techniques you can use too. a bunch of other things you could use and just put pieces together like a puzzle until you figure out for sure. This is him. Like, for example, let me tell you the best way to be sure. MRE. Remember when we got MRE? We had a problem. The problem was this. We were 99.9% sure we had the right guy. We had gathered info from Facebook profiles and all types of other social media and YouTube and fucking background checks and newspaper uh, articles, every type of thing. But we didn't have his voice. That's how you know, especially with a guy with a distinct voice like MRE or Mr. Batters has. I need to hear him speak. Luckily, Damien Argenti had videos of MRE all over his channel. Or should I say Nicholas? So we saw his face, same face we had pictures of, same face in the newspaper articles, and then his voice, bingo. Once we saw him and heard him speaking, got him. Well, that's the thing with Mr. Batters. You know, even when you're sure, even when you're a thousand percent sure, if you haven't seen him and heard him speak, it's like, there's still a possibility I'm wrong. Well, luckily, luckily, Mr. Batters, you are all over the internet, all over the internet. There is fucking pictures, videos, interviews with Mr. Batters. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Big in the poker world, right? You are a bad person to try to come on here and do this to people. Okay? You're not somebody who's uh, invisible. You're not somebody who doesn't exist on the internet. You're all over the fucking place. So you made a monumental mistake here. And it's going to come back to kick you dead in your ass. As far as this, Albaz, from what I've found so far, no. But I will tell you this. I was up late, late, late. Like I said, I found out who he was probably about five or something in the morning. And then I had to go to sleep. So I didn't get to do much research. Then I woke up today and I got right back on it. You know, 
And that's when I found the pictures and the videos. But I didn't get to research everything. See, that's the thing, Mr. Batters. With a guy like you, your identity is just the tip of the iceberg. It's all the other good shit that could be found and researched and looked for. You know, it's like, hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you got skeletons in your closet. You know, I'm sure you have shit on the internet you might be embarrassed about. I'm sure you have family members you want to protect. So you are fucked, my friend. That's the best way I can say it. You are fucked. It's not even like you just talked about Shanna here and there or something like that, you know, like everybody else does. It's like, ah, oh, fuck them. I probably ignore it. But man, Shanna, my, my mother, my daughter. Oh. I am going to enjoy not only what I do to you, but sitting back and watching because I hope Chicago Muscle and SoFlo do shows about you every day until the end of time. And I'm telling you right now, I will be sitting back watching with a big fucking grin on my face, gloating and saying, that's what you get, motherfucker. That's what you get. When will you motherfuckers learn? When? I want to know. When do you say to yourself, let's just leave FBS alone? Okay, because... Uh, too much history. There's too much stuff he's done. Too many things he's found out. He's really, really extraordinarily good at this. And if I want to stay anonymous, FBS is the wrong guy to piss off. It might take a year, two years, but eventually you'll have to pay. And I'll be the guy that sees to it that you do pay. Not to mention the other two guys, Chicago and SoFlo. It's like unleashing the wolves. I mean, oh my God, what you got coming. It's going to be brutal. But a bit of advice to everybody who thinks that FBS is the guy to fuck with. Everybody. Haven't you learned yet? Have you not learned? I could go over a list of probably 20 people who you wouldn't know if it wasn't for me. Never know who they are. I am the best at this. I'm the wrong person to fuck with. And if you decide to go the route of talking about my family, I will make you a priority. Let me tell you something. Last night, I did not want to be researching your ass. I did not. There was other things I wanted to do. But boy, do I have a lot built up. After everything you've said and done, oh my God, it, was, it became top priority. I wouldn't stop until I fucking found you. And I did. I did. There you go. See? It's bad. It's bad. You have no idea. Now, what I'm going to do, if you guys don't mind, there's 198 people. Leave it to FBS. I am a jerk off uh, sometimes when it comes to being organized and prepared. Now, SoFlo did show some pictures of Mr. Batters. He even played a video clip of Mr. Batters. Yeah, so you could see him and hear his voice. A very short clip, just a sample. Just enough so that you, you know, people can't see it and say, oh, now I could figure out who he is because I'm trying to give you a chance. Because the best thing for everybody would be for you to just disappear. Disappear. So I ain't going to play anything that makes it easy for people to find you. I'll play just enough so people can see and hear and say, oh, shit, he really does have them. Thank you, Chicago Muscle. Thank you very much. This one I give myself props for because this, even I can't figure out how I did it. <laughs> or let's just say I'm baffled by uh, by the way I did it. What was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to give you a chance. The, the, the best thing for everybody involved would be for you to disappear. Now, SoFlo is not here, but, but Chicago Muscle, let me ask you something. If, uh, if Mr. Batters was to apologize to all of us and our family members, a sincere apology, and then delete his channel, would you be willing to just let it go? And we go no further. 
curious as to what you have to say. You might not be, and if not, that's fine. I'm just curious because, of course, I could give him a chance, but if you guys don't, he's fucked anyway. No, you can't. Oh, yeah, and he talks shit about Miss Can't Be Wrong and Jesse. Another fatal mistake. You talk shit about a lot of people. The wrong people. And now you got to pay. Neil Costantino. Oh, no. Rule number one. Don't get on FBS's hit list. Rule number two. If you do find yourself on his hit list, quickly apologize. Thank you, Neil. Very good advice. Very good advice. Let me see what Chicago has to say. Uh, Yes, I am an asshole, but not a bastard. Okay. So does this mean that you would just let it go if Mr. Batters deleted his channel and disappeared after, of course, apologizing? There you go, Mr. Batters. I know you're watching. I know you are. Now, you might be somebody who says, I don't give a fuck. So what? They know who I am. Let them do whatever they want to do. I'll just keep going. My advice to you uh, on that is you can't win. That's a horrible idea. You can't win. See, you could get up now and leave with relative anonymity still. You know, you could, nobody really knows who you are. You could just disappear and it, I could pretty much assure you it all goes away. But if you decide, oh, I'll take them on. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. Oh. I know the pain you're going to feel. I felt it many times. And boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy, as Tony Pizza would say. It is not fun. It is not fun. Well, Albaz, of course. And that's why, I'm not going to lie to you. As much as I would like for him to disappear, you know me. Deep down inside, I'm hoping he doesn't. Because if he disappears today... The fun is over. If he sticks around, we haven't even begun. We're just getting started. Absolutely. Now, what I was saying a minute ago is um, uh, I'm not organized or prepared. I got songs together for this show, but I didn't think, hmm, maybe, maybe I'll upload some pictures and the video I have. So you can see Mr. Batters for yourself. So what I'm going to need, if it's okay with you guys, is a five to seven minute intermission. All right? Don't leave. There's 200 of you. Trust me. The good stuff is, we haven't even started yet. Okay? Good stuff to come. So I will be back and we'll have some more fun. See you soon.
All right, guys. Of course, there's always a problem. Uh, as you saw, that was Mr. Batters, the picture I just put up. That's one thing. Uh, I have another one as well. Trust me, I could probably put 20 up, but it's going to take me time to get them all together, and I don't want to keep you guys waiting. <laughs> Sorry, Dana. I, pre uh, I appreciate you being here. I, I didn't mean to... Uh irritate you uh with the silence i'm about to throw my damn phone yeah miss camp you texted me and said uh, i could have brought her on and, and she could have helped me I, I didn't even think about that i'm just excited now here's the thing there's a video uh so Flo had uh trouble playing this video on his show which is very odd it's a very very short clip now i can't even seem to uh get it emailed to myself it's a six second clip and it's saying it's too large. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, here you go. Okay, wait a minute. Hmm. Now I'm having technical difficulties. Be right back. All right, let's try again. Uh, oh, Chris, why, why not come prepared? Yeah, it's not. Are you guys seeing the pictures on the screen? Because I'm not. It won't put the pictures up. This is new. I've, I've never had this happen. I am clicking on pictures right now as we speak. Now that one's funny. It looks like he's taking a shit, right? Take a look. Or he's got a cack in his, you know, well, cack. Maybe Tony Pizza's cack. That's him. Now, if you want to, let me show you this since I can't seem to upload it. I think you guys are going to enjoy this because you get to hear his voice. It's only six seconds. I figured that's all I need. That's him. Now, listen. Seventy-five thousand in chips, so I had a nice stack. Yeah. Hear that? Today. I came into this um, tournament seventy-five thousand in chips, so I had a nice stack. Yeah. Hmm. Sounds like Mr. Batters, doesn't it? <laughs> Listen. Listen, Joe. And your name is Joe. Your first name is Joe. No doubt about that. Your middle name is Michael. Yes. Yes, it is. The last name I'll leave out for now. But as you can see, you are absolutely fucked. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He is, uh, as you could see, uh, as effeminate as a man could be. Not like we didn't know that from hearing him speak. But when you see him clean shaven and he's sitting there all, you know, extra fruity, it's like, wow. This guy definitely sucked a dick or two in his life. Probably sucked a dick or two today. Uh, yeah, and Pete, you're enjoying this, huh? Oh, it is correct. Trust me when I tell you. Take my word for it. Joe Biggs, an absolute wannabe tough guy just by his facial features. Yes, very punchable. Oh, a complete and total fucking piece of shit. No doubt about it. Just looking at his fucking face. It makes you angry, you know? Sometimes, you know, uh, he tries to look tough, but but let me show you. Uh, can you see it in this video? I mean, picture. So you can't really see, but he's got a big, well, 
I guess you could call it a sleeve. It's kind of like a bunch of random tattoos all up his forearms, which that also doesn't fit Mr. Batters, right? You never picture that. But I don't know. Maybe he tries to look tough every now and then. Who knows? Uh, let's see here. You can't see the picture very well on the screen. I don't know why. It's all blown up, but here you go. That's him playing poker. He's always playing poker. Big time gambler. Big money, too. Well, would you look at this? Would you look at this? <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to look like there. But that's Mr. Batters. And as you can see, he plays for big money. Big money. Now I have to check email, apparently. Yeah, I got nothing. I got no emails. I didn't get anything. Uh, so let me see what you guys have to say. Hey, Joe Mike. <laughs> Hey, Joe Mike. Is he Italian? Well, here's the thing. I'm going to tell you guys something interesting. I was talking to somebody about this before the show. His last name is Italian. It is Italian. But I don't think that's his real last name. Oh, oh what is this I just got? Wait a minute. It appears I'm not the only one who knows who you are, Mr. Batters. I got to wait for this to load. Rusty is out there making some strange noises. By the way, guys, I'm bringing you information just like old times, you know. Feel free to donate. I'd appreciate it very, very much. It's the only way to keep these shows going. So anyway... While this loads, I'll tell you this. Um, his last name is Italian, but I'm not sure that he's Italian. I think that that's a, a name change. I think he gave himself uh, the last name he has to try to help him, I don't know, Become a big movie star, whatever his dream is. He's definitely uh, somebody who uh, is interested in becoming an actor and a celebrity. Spent a lot of his life in Los Angeles and Hollywood trying to, you know, I don't know, get a role in some fucking movie that'll maybe uh, uh, make him skyrocket to stardom. I guess that's his dream. Wants to be a big actor. And I think this last name is, I guess you could say a stage name. I think it's bullshit. And I'll tell you why I think that. Because I researched thoroughly. Thoroughly. And I'll tell you this. Every fucking person in his family has the same last name. And it is not Joe's last name. It is not. Joe, Michael, his last name He's the only person in that entire family. There is nobody related to him in any way, shape, or form with that last name. Nobody. So the logical conclusion is that he changed his name to this. And when you find out what it is, you're going to laugh your balls off. Especially considering that you just heard me say that I think he used it to try to get acting work. You know? Uh, I thought it was quite funny. To be honest with you, who knows? Maybe he'll come out today and say, yeah, fuck it. This is who I am. So what? That would make things easier. Never know. What do we got here? Oh, yeah. Look at that. I don't know if I should show this just because there's other information. Well, not really. Uh, yeah, there's, let's just say there's a couple more pictures of him. Somebody just sent me. Yes. 
and 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 there's tons online there's tons i've just been busy all day as usual so i only got a couple together uses what name joe c Let's see. You said Joe C. and Miss Camp Young said, yep, and Peach, he uses that name too. I've seen it. Well, he wants people to think, oh, this is another part. Get ready. Here's the thing. There was an old gangster from Cleveland named Eugene the Animal Ciasulo. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him. He actually got blown up by Danny Green twice, and he survived it. Yeah, he was big in the wars in the 70s. He was a big part of it. Got blown up twice by Danny Green. At one point, uh, there was, uh, I guess, shrapnel, whatever, from the bomb that was in a flower pot, went through his intestines. He still survived it. And he was a, a very feared man. Very feared. Brutal. Killer. Eugene the Animal Ciasulo. Well, Joe, Mr. Batters, would like you to believe that he is Eugene's nephew now i'll tell you what i found i found eugene's family members and i know that at least one of them is in some way shape or form related to mr batters although mr batters has nobody and i repeat nobody and his entire family with the last name siasulo so he has been bullshitting everyone with that. He's just trying to throw people off his trail. That is not his last name. Unless it was, and he changed it to his new last name. Who knows? But it's not in his bloodline. There is not a family member, and he's got a large family with the last name Ciasulo. So I think that's a bullshit backstory, too. Oh, I'm the nephew of Eugene the Animal. Sure you are. Sure you are. You could be whatever you want to be on YouTube, right? Might as well have just said you are him, reincarnated. I'm Eugene. I came back from the dead. Might as well have said that. The rabbit hole. It was insane last night. Insane. But I found out a lot. And, and here's the good part. I didn't even really get started. Because I'm going to give you a chance, Mr. Batters. If anybody goes to check Mr. Batter's channel and it's not there anymore, well, then we know uh, how he chose to respond to this. If it's still there, then we have to come to the conclusion that uh, he wants this to get worse. Personally, I don't care either way because um, um, it's good for me if he stays. It's good for Chicago Muscle. It's good for SoFlo. It's good for all of us. If he leaves, the fun ends, but but he's gone. It's a good way to solve a problem. We need you to go, Mr. Batters. We need you to pack up your shit and get the fuck out of here. That's what we need you to do. And if you don't, do not bitch about the consequences. Don't do it. Don't play victim. Oh, look what they did to me. Oh, look what they're doing. Oh, my family. Oh, this, oh, that. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck off. I just got a message that said, no mercy, bro. I'll let you guess who that's from. I'll let you guess. I have a feeling you're going to stick around, but I don't want to hear no bitching. You are no victim. You'll never be a victim. No, you like to victimize people. Therefore, you can't be a victim anymore because consequences are consequences. Karma is owed. That's all there is to it. It's not like you can hurt all these people and then come back and say, oh, my God, look what they did to me. You were asking for trouble. You were asking the worst people in the history of MobTube for trouble. You were looking for all the smoke, all of it. And now, uh, now you're in a very bad position where bad things can happen to you on the Internet legally without breaking any laws. I got to be very careful. Let's see. Let me get down here. Uh, the MRE of Cleveland. Yeah, no shit. 
He went into a tattoo shop and pointed at a wall of flash. I want them all. That's what it looks like. And I got other pictures with his fucking tattoos and shit, you know? Um, it'll all come out. It doesn't have to come out on this show. It doesn't matter. You see what he looks like. And and we have a picture. Mr. Uh, Chicago Muscle put up a picture of batters last night. Uh, I think he was looking up in the air or something. I don't know. Uh, but But the person in that picture is Mr. Batters, okay? And the person in the pictures I just showed you is the same guy in Chicago Muscle's picture. So we had that to compare it to. This is why, Mr. Batters, you got to be super careful because there's people like us out there who will collect every fucking hint, every clue, and then someday, when we have enough information, we'll put it all together and say, got him! And that's what happens. Uh... It's a celebration, bitches. I am so happy. Let me see something here. Ah, shit. I don't have uh, Dave Chappelle saying it's a celebration, bitches. That's all right. Thought I did. Uh, Let me go through some... uh... Agent Orange 499. Is he a Simon? I don't know what that means. You mean a first name or a last name? I don't know. But no, that's nowhere in his name. If that's what you mean. If assignment is a thing, I, uh, and then I don't know. I don't know what assignment is. But if you're referring to his name, no. And thank you for being a new donor. And thank you for the four ninety nine. Danny Green, ten dollars. Dude looks like he rides a bike with no seat. Match my fifty. Yes, Danny Green has donated fifty dollars so far. So. He said, match, match him, please. Sally gifted one fat bold Sicilian membership. Thank you, Sally. Muggsy, 104, $2. I am in love with Miss Can't Be Wrong. I don't, I, 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 I can't blame you. She's a sweetheart. Hey, now, 1999 for being with JMD. Or for being down with JMD. Hmm. 1999. Thank you for the money. I'm not sure what you mean by that, but those might be his initials. Do you know something? Maybe you know. Hey, now, I don't know. Let me see. I was just told. Oh, wait a minute. What did I get? No mercy. There's another one for that motherless fucking cunt cocksucker. All the shit he said about me and others. Fuck him in his ass with a Danny Green hand grenade. (laughs) Damn. Oh, we got him, bro. Don't worry. Nobody worry. It's all good. So mission accomplished. 206 people. Hit the like if you feel like it and donate if you want. I was just told to look at something. I don't know if I have that link, Miss Can't Be Wrong, or if I can find it. I live for this, guys. There's another thing, Mr. Batters, and all you people who are thinking about fucking with my family. I live for this shit. You you could ask Shanna. I was so excited last night. I was so fucking excited you would have thought I won the lottery. Because I did. I did. I got your ass. I was so fucking happy. And today, too, I woke up with a big, fat fucking smile plastered to my fucking face. Uh, what happened? It didn't. Oh, shit. Hold on, Miss Camp, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, you guys can go check out Nico Sia's community page if you'd like. Here, I'll show you what he's got going on. Looks like Gaddafi, he said. There you guys go. He really does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nico. See a connection. Oh man, it's a wonderful day. I want everybody to celebrate. Everybody. I hope Chicago goes on. I hope SoFlo goes back on. I hope so because this is this is true entertainment. When SoFlo was putting those pictures up earlier and shit, I was like, like the Joker. I I couldn't get the smile off my fucking face. I was so fucking happy. 
Okay, Tony Ducks, $20. He said, I matched Artie Buco, a.k.a. Danny Green. Oh, shit. He's bringing back the R Artie Buco. You're going you're gonna to perform a milking? Danny Green? Jesse Roth, $5. Forget that puppet stuffer. <laughs> I will. No worries. Oh, shit. Okay, what does he say? Uh, uh oh, uh, this is a um, Mr. Batters. This is a comment on his channel, Mr. Batters five ten. Absolutely, I'm not going anywhere. Team Pizza forever. YouTube Gold. I have no skeletons. I'm not a low life convict like them. Listen, bro. You could say what you want about us being convicts. First of all, we're in fucking mob tube. It would be odd if we weren't fucking uh, convicts. That's number one. Uh, you're the fish out of water here, not us. Number two, you can, you name the convict on here and you're, you're a fucking, they're 10 times better than you, 10 times better than you. You are a low life fucking scumbag. You are the worst of the worst, the shit you've said about people. And okay. Uh, you're staying enough said enough said. I can't say I'm not happy about this. <laughs> Uh, give me one second. Let me do something here. All right. Done. He was probably turned out in the county jail. Uh, you know, I looked at his record. He has a couple of speeding tickets. He has a couple of speeding tickets. What, Jason? What do you mean his last name? Uh, wait until the people he plays poker with sees how racist and what a scumbag he really is. This is a beautiful day. Yes, absolutely. Yes, that is what I need people to do. If you got a second, I'm sure there's people out there just looking, you know, for ways to get this motherfucker. Go to Mr. Batter's channel right now before he takes them down and screen record some of the vile shit he says and does. Everybody in his world will hear that stuff. I promise you. Everybody in his world will hear the things he's said and done on YouTube. Everybody. And I, I bet you got a job, Mr. Batters. I bet you do. For now. <laughs> I bet at the moment you have a job. Hmm. It appears that SoFlow is going to be going on right after me. Just wanted to let you guys know. Uh... Oh, I, I keep trying to get to it. This is the latest from Mr. Batters. Yes, 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 yes. That's what somebody just sent me. Again, Mr. Batters says, he just said this at 19 minutes ago. Uh, somebody said, come back, bro. Stay strong. He said, absolutely. I'm not going anywhere. Team pizza forever. YouTube gold. I have not skeletons. I guess he means no, I'm not a low life convict like them. So you're still talking shit. You're talking shit about the people who are about to do you in. Huh? I got mad bottles. Of water. I'm looking for the cold one. Joe Mikey, grab your ankles. <laughs> Hold on. Bear with me. Sorry if this show's all over the place, guys. A lot of stuff happening, a lot of information coming in. Heads all over the place. All right. Ms. Camp, you're wrong, says, feel free to donate. Never mind the amount. FBS appreciates every dollar. Yes, and I keep trying to get to one of my donations. My buddy, Dana, Haunted Ghost Tube Dana, $25 for another great show. Much love to Mama. Thank you so much, Dana. I appreciate you. And guys, come on. Work with me here. This is a fantastic show. We had a little breakthrough here. I'm giving you information. 
donate some dollars to FBS. You know, don't make this a bad show. The last couple of days, absolutely horrible. Absolutely fucking horrible. The last three, three or four days. I say it's time to make up for that. Antonino, $25 matched some part of green. That's beautiful. Thank you, Antonino. I don't care if it's $5 you match of Danny Green's. Yeah, all of the Italian names he picked the most well-known. Oh, so you know it? Okay, good. He is a gay hairstylist. You know, I'm not sure yet about his job. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Jason knows his last name. Yeah, I think it is, bro. You're going to laugh, guys. You're going to laugh. Oh, is that why you said his last name a minute ago? I'm sorry. I forgot that you I forgot that you know. <laughs> Common sense career winnings of 315k could be won in a single $600 tournament. That don't mean he has or plays for big money. Oh, my bad, Common. See, that's what I need you for to correct me on shit I don't know anything about. I don't know nothing about this World Series of Poker shit, but he's part of it. He's played in it many, many times. Is it Travolta? Ducks, it's, um, I'll tell you what, we'll play a game. Think of, if you were to think of the last name of an Italian American actor, if you were to just say, hmm, let me compile a list in my head of Italian American actors. Everybody put in the chat the first name that comes to mind. You can lose 200000 in buy-ins and never cash another tournament uh, for a year. That career earnings don't mean much, honestly. Okay, good to know. Stallone. <laughs> eh. OC says, mm, De Niro? <laughs> Listen. I don't know, man. I don't know. Where the donations at? Come on, people. I got to clear 200 on this show. Come on. You know, do you understand, guys? Let me make something clear to you. All right. Because of what I'm doing right here, because of my hard work and research, you are going to have a series of shows today that are going to be unbelievably exciting and informative. Every show, you might see more information. Every fucking show. So there's going to be a series of shows today. So, you know, just as a, a sign of appreciation. Make sure I leave this show with some bread. Because me and Shanna are going to go out tonight, do our thing after this show. And I like to have a big smile on my face knowing I made some money. Yes, sir, Danny Green. Oh, my God. Stacks interview Mr. Batters right now. What? <laughs> yeah, right. Are you serious? Doug said. My bad. El said 305 said, do you understand what's coming? De Niro. Oh. De Niro, huh? I wonder. I wonder. Never know. Look, my beautiful new beginnings with Shanna, my wife said, and I am a witness to his hard work, all for your entertainment. Yes, I busted my ass last night. And, and Shanna was probably pissed off at me. But she saw how excited I was, you know? I'm sure Shanna would have been uh, rather been doing other things. But I never uh, interrupt our time for anything mob tube related. But this was urgent. This was fucking urgent. Uh, Pesci, <laughs> Pesci, Devado, Pacino, Pesci, Danny DeVito. Those are what you're telling me. Danny DeVito is in your your list. You're like your top three Italian American actors. You think of Danny DeVito? Holy shit! Busy says De Niro. Haunted Ghost Tube Dana said, "Donate if you can." Miss Can't Be Wrong, no one has hooked me up either. Yeah, yeah, hook Miss Can't Be Wrong up, too, for all her hard work. She fucking, she does this shit for nothing. 
I don't know uh, what I would do without her. Not another donate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. OC, $20 for strong work. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very, very much. Let's make it a good night for FBS. Uh, let me get down here. Do you understand what's coming? De Niro. I'm, I listen, I'm telling you. It's going to be bad. All I know is that there's a good chance, and I don't do this ever, but wherever me and uh, Shanna are tonight, we'll be listening. I could pretty much assure you of that. Paul Terry? No. No. Frank Sinatra. Yeah, that's his name. Joe Mike Frank uh, Sinatra. Francis Albert. Chicago Muscle says, El Cid, let's go. Ah. You ready, Joe Michael? Hmm. Yeah, man, it looks like it's already uh, starting, Mr. Batters. I think you're in trouble. I think you are in big fucking trouble. Where'd you get that last name, Mr. Batters? Come on, don't lie. Don't bullshit me. Where'd you get that last name? You know goddamn well that ain't your last name. Don't try to bullshit. You went to Hollywood. And you said, oh, I need acting work. Let me pick the last name of one of the most well-known, possibly the most well-known, most popular Italian-American actor in the history of the world. Let me change my last name to his last name. And maybe off of name recognition, like you're in politics, you know what I mean? Uh, you'll get some sort of fucking uh, work out of this. Na name recognition only. Oh, his last name is what? Bring him in for an audition. Joe Biggs said Pacino. Maybe Joe Biggs. Jason Mike sell FBS. He's a great method actor. Danny DeVito, LOL. But no, I was just naming Italian American. Okay, good. No particular ranking. Yes, he is a great actor, without a doubt. I just, he's not in much lately, you know? Danza. Maybe it's Danza. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let SoFlo do it on the next show because I know he's excited and everybody, everybody owes you Mr. Batters. So I'm not going to say, you know, definitively what your last name is. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell people right now. Uh... Wait a minute, Luca Brazzi, you saying that there's a guy named Joe De Niro that has 366,000. There's a James Carroll, Jason Senti, Mike South. I wonder if any of them are him. I wonder. Malik Irvin, member for 12 months, is his last uh, uh, name Pacino. I will say no, it's not It's not Pacino. Oh, wait a minute. Luca Brazzi says Joe De Niro. You think his name is Joe De Niro? I mean, I'm sure with the clues I've given, people have already done their research and they, you know, they know. They know it with just what, what I've said uh, already. I'm not seeing any more donations, people. One of those days where I should clean up. Oh, shit. Look at this. El Cid 305, $20. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> nice. Uh, rappers are more likely to adopt Italian uh, names, ironically. I don't think Mr. Batters would want to associate with them. No, 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 definitely not. Uh, De Niro fits him. Uh, was Robert De Niro as big a piece of crap? A lot of people don't like De Niro anymore because of his politics. Listen, is he a little too liberal? Yes. But I, Robert De Niro is like a hero of mine. Growing up, I mean, he's the greatest actor in the world to me. I still think he might be, he's a, at the very least one of the greatest actors ever to live. I know a lot of people don't like him because of his politics, but anyway, uh, this is what I'll do. We're an hour and 14 minutes in. I believe I have plans with my wife. So I'm going to go for now. DiCaprio, ah, Ridge, maybe it's DiCaprio. I won't say for sure yet. I am going to go now and I will, uh, I'll be watching 
SoFlo show. So if you guys are really interested, you never know what he might have. I'm telling you right now, I don't know what SoFlo has. It appears that he now knows who the guy is. I don't know what he might have. So that show might be crazy. And I myself am curious because I don't have time to do any more research, you know, at least until later, later tonight. So I'm curious as to what SoFlo has. I'm going to learn from his show today. And I don't know if uh, if uh, Chicago Muscle is going on, but maybe he'll have some stuff too. Luca Brasi, I hate his politics, but love his acting, still the greatest. Yeah, 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 definitely. A lot of people hate his politics. I know, I know. I, I Trust me, I'm not fully on board with his politics either. You know, I lean that way, but I got a feeling he isn't a De Niro fan considering he only dates black women. Yeah, isn't that some shit? You would think he isn't. You would really think he isn't, huh? But I believe, uh, well, I'll save it. All right. I'm going to go, guys. Thank you for everything. Let me make sure I got all the donations. I'll see it. Hey, now, Muggsy, Sally, Danny Green, Agent Orange, Danny Green, Danny Green. Danny, thank you so much, bro. Thank you to all of you guys. Hey, now. Um, and everybody who sent a cash app. And hey, if you enjoyed this show and you want to send a little contribution, you could do it after the show. I'll shout you out on the next one. Stephen Cordell, $10 for Gotham. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. All right, guys. I don't know when. So, Flo, how long till you're on? How long you think? You think you need some time? Let's see. Let's see how long till he's on. Let's see if he can answer real quick. 193 people still. We were up to 219 at one point. Uh... Found him on YouTube. Did you, Agent Orange? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. It's like people are just... People are just taking these clues, putting them together, and uh, doing their own thing. <sighs> Jason Mike Sell says, SoFlo, destroy him. You can name a movie in passing, LOL. Good fellas. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt, Jason. I don't know. I don't know if SoFlo is going to say when he's coming on, but I'm looking forward to it. And, you know, I'm always in a hurry. I can't wait. So I hope it's immediately. But look out for his show. If, if I was all of you, uh, I would be over there watching it. Because <laughs> I'm me, and I'm going to be over there watching it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he's probably busy preparing. So I'm going to go, guys. Thank you for everything. This is a wonderful day. Everybody should rejoice. Everybody should be happy and celebrate. It's a great fucking day. There's the link. Jason says, to SoFlo we go. There you go. See, I don't I don't want to... I don't want to do everything because everybody deserves... You know, I don't want to do it all. Everybody who has been harassed and abused by this piece of shit, Mr. Batters, deserves a piece of this. Everybody. I'm not uh, uh, I'm not somebody who has to come on here and, 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 and take credit for everything and all that shit and say, oh, look what I did. Everybody deserves a piece of this. So let's go watch SoFlo. I love you all. And until next time, salute.